All right, it is saying we are being live streamed. So hello, it must be Thursday. We are <clears throat> July, no August, man, we got to switch months. We are August, is it 4th today, 2022, and we are high frequency Thursday with my rooster in the background. Um, Sonia Line here with Brianna, and we are going to do, well, not me, well, Brianna's going to be pulling some uh, oracle cards today so we'll give you time to hop on if you know anyone that would like to join us today please tag them i will let brianna introduce herself while i share this video into our group so make sure you say hello and where are you tuning in from and i'll be right back brianna the floor is yours hello everybody good morning and good afternoon welcome to another edition of high frequency thursday as Sonia said, my name is Brianna. I am coming live to you from my home in Omaha, Nebraska, and I am happy to be here. I am ready to give some Oracle readings today. So the deck that I am going to be using is the Spirit Animal Oracle cards, and they have all different amazing animals that have a message on them. And I absolutely love these cards. I did use them one time before on a live and I think everyone else enjoyed them as well. So I thought I would bring them out again, just as a fun little different way to spend our high frequency Thursday. So Sonia is getting everything shared out across the groups and on timelines so we can get some people joining us. But until then, I, as usual, do not have my computer with me. I just have my phone and we're on Zoom. So I can't see what you're saying, but Sonia is the one that will be in the comments today. And if you want a card reading, you just have to ask. That is the only thing. And Sonia is going to tell me your name. I'm going to put everyone down on a list. And then I'm going to pull one card per person and we'll see what the cards have to say for you. But until then, we'll wait a couple minutes and just see how everyone is doing today. If you want to say, hey, let us know where you're watching from. Let us know if you want an Oracle card. And most importantly, how are you doing today? How about you, Sonia? How are you? I am doing fabulous. Um today I like Thursdays like it's I, I have back to back to back meetings and uh, I have my diffuser going on and an incense so it's like woo um, and uh, the weather's perfect I am it's very very nice like it's windy but it's not it's hot but at least we got wind um, crazy week but uh, I feel excited for this like it's my I was just telling Brianna it's my time to this is the time to hang out this and even if it would just be us not going live we get to talk we get to feel our energies for the week we get to learn some different things so this is kind of like my moment like my mom little break and uh so i'm doing fabulous because of that reason how about you <laughs> that's awesome i love to hear that i it's as you are listing the things that it allows you to do this time most importantly we get to be ourselves right we get to just hang out and get to be ourselves and attract the like-minded people out there that want to hang out with us and want to join in on this fun little journey that we have going on here. It's actually not a little journey. I don't want to, don't want to talk little about it, but you know what I mean. Um, other than that, I am doing okay. I told Sonia that I am dealing with some shoulder issues, just tight muscles, just on one side of my body. So it has me just kind of feeling gross in that manner, but I am doing what I can and going to see the chiropractor, drinking water, going to do the best I can to take care of that. Um, We're gonna go to an amusement park tomorrow so nice. we're gonna drive there tonight gonna have some final fun before the summer is over uh school starts next week in exactly one week so we start school pretty early around here 
Not sure if anyone else has kids that are going to public school interested to hear when your school starts. It's usually towards like more mid or late August. So um, I'm, I'm ready just as much to have fun with my kids one last time at the amusement park, ride some rides, go in the water park, um, spend some time together. And I'm also excited for school to start um, and to get that routine back that we have for three fourths of the year. So summer can be challenging sometimes and hold that chaotic energy just because it's different from the rest of the year. Um, and it's hot. I am not a fan of this humidity. I uh, sweat really easily and it's not comfortable to me. That's why I'm saying I was happy it's windy because otherwise I couldn't be here. We have air condition right there. And uh, yeah, no, like it's when it's too warm, it's not fun for sure. Even I'm, I'm Canadian living here with winter. We don't have, you know, we have more cold days than warm, but I can just handle so much warm too. Um, I, and I say the same too, when I visit us, I'm like, I'm a Canadian girl. Like I'm not used to this heat and it's different, like different places. I've really felt like the warm, humid, um, dry, different kinds of heat depending where you're at. So that was kind of interesting for sure. I actually but I'm staying read... hydrated for sure. <laughs> Good. That is a big jug of water. <laughs> I love that it's pink too. Um, I recently learned that the corn, I live in the, the middle of the United States, like literally directly direct center of the United States and all around us is farmland. Um, and I learned that the corn puts out all that humidity into the air. So the oh. reason it's so stinking hum humid in the summer is because we're surrounded by corn fields and that corn is pumping out all kinds of moisture into the air. I right. saw that one day, shared it on Facebook and a lot of other people didn't know it either and were surprised by it. So I don't know if that makes it better or worse that I understand. I'm like, go ahead and cut the corn down already, please. And thank you. Yeah. Do we have people in the comments? Sonia? We do. do we have anyone out there? We do. And I wanted to say we are surrounded by potato fields here. Potato. Um, wheat and oat, I think, like the whatever they feed the, the animals with. And um we sometimes smell like some days we're outside and you smell the, the cows um because we have cows. those not too far so it is interesting and then we've got all the wildlife and that but uh if i'm looking at fields um if we go driving to town that's all you see big field after field after field and it's quite beautiful to see though um but it yeah it's interesting we sometimes see the big tractors and the kids are all like finding it cool and yeah, so it's not just a little garden. It's like, that's what they do for a living. And yeah, but um, definitely uh, different. And I can see that the either humidity or it would affect. And sad to say, they do spray some stuff too. Like I know here when I see them going by spraying to kill like the, the potatoes before they get them, they kill the top. So like the leaves and that, they spray them with something. I don't know what it is, but don't really want to know probably, but that must affect the air and the, you know, um, yeah, environment too, I'm thinking when living surprised. around agriculture definitely has its perks and its downsides. I love to look at just drive. That's how it is around here. You have one house and they normally have some land behind them that is either like soybeans or sweet corn and then another house and they have their farmland. And so it's very That's beautiful. It it's be. very green around yep. here, but even when they cut that down and harvest it, it creates a lot of seasonal allergies for people. Oh, too. for sure. So always fun. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. We do have some people watching. So I want to say hello, Leslie. Um, hello to uh, Kelly. How are you? Hey, Christy. And Leslie saying no farmers, no food. I agree. Thank you to our farmers. And I believe a lot of people are starting to appreciate and wanting to be a little like mini farms on their own and we were talking about communities like we're looking forward to a time where it's not weird with 
the people around, like we have a very different lifestyle and way of thinking and everyone I feel like right now it's like, you know, you don't know, like we moved in a different town where we don't have a social life yet, even for our kids and for ourselves and even just to know what's going on. What are the holidays? What are this and that? And like, we're visitors really. And we do want to go and invite people in our lives, but we're also like <laughs> very protective with our bubble at the same time. But I'm like, we want to have like-minded people that we can actually have real conversations. And like for the kids, you asked about the kids' school. Um, my son's in school pretty much 24 seven, like since 2019, when we pulled him out of school, the Monday to Friday didn't work for us. And we had a, we traveled a lot. We had a different lifestyle. And when we started to do homeschool, like right now, he still learns different things. Like we were looking at mushrooms earlier today. I had my plant identifier on my app, on my phone. We took a stroll and now we're going to be Googling that stuff. We're going to be either, you know, like there's some herbs we can eat. There's some weeds that we're going to make some chips with. So, and we'll probably let you guys know about that. So we're just, for me, uh, yeah, it's September here, usually after Labor Day, which we have the first week of September, we have a long weekend uh, in Canada, but I think most of Canada starts the same time, if I'm not mistaken. So about five weeks left um, before the real school starts. Um, One week here. Crazy. Uh, tell everybody what you found that you manifested onto your land. Yes. Um, so we just went around, we, it's, raspberry seasons right now and we wanted to go out with the kids last week and we got there it was very warm so I just grabbed a little one and I wanted to get a lot so we can freeze them for the winter and even enjoy them and I'm like we'll go later we'll go we still haven't gone there and uh, we actually bought some raspberry plants two weeks ago so now we're planting them for the future and I mean one plant gives us a few little ones but today we went for a drive hubby wanted to show that like, he cleared some land on our on our other land and uh, we found a bunch of raspberry bushes. Like we, we ate four today. We each had, Mika had two and then me and hubby had e each one. But that made me super happy. I told that to Brianna just to talk about the manifestation because that land, we manifested a stream. We manifested um, an apple tree. We found two, manifested a lot of different things. And I took pictures of, like I said, mushrooms and flowers and lots of edible stuff. So um, yeah, don't ever stop thinking because I was like I'll get some raspberries so now every two three days we're gonna go on our land and just with a little bucket and grab what we can for our raspberries and that'll be it for this for this family for this year so very grateful for that and your anyone, apple tree right yeah anyone finding different things like it's you have to be intentional too because if I would have been on my phone and not looked and taken pictures like I wouldn't have seen I was looking for raspberries and I've said it a few times and there they are so you have to be attentive and also be ready to be receptive too for what you are manifesting whether it's raspberries or riches or health and you know there's little doors and signs sometimes and you don't notice them so I'm very glad that my husband asked me to go for a drive even if I was like oh lots of ticks and lots of bugs and whatever I'm like <laughs> let's go and uh, yeah so found some goodies on the land. That is awesome. Here, pro tip next year before raspberry plant blooms, gather the leaves and dry them for red raspberry tea. I love that, Christy. That is awesome. I think I need like a calendar tip, like, and that's what we're doing. Like each week we're doing like either different fruit or vegetable, and we're trying to learn different things. Summer fails. Some are like successes, but we try, we learn, and I appreciate that. And then um, Kelly says she barters with farmers and gardeners. I really like that. And I, I want to go back in a time like that too, and uh, just be able to share values and resources. And I do believe we are going like that. Tony says, hi, ladies. Um, mm. Oh, Leslie found a lottery ticket on the ground yesterday on her walk home. Wow. wow. Yeah, it wasn't a winner, but made me realize it is it is definitely a sign. I love that. Ooh. So, all right. So we got people here. Who would like for Brianna to pull an oracle card from the animal spirit? Do you want to have like do you have to do any questions or consent, Brianna? Like, are you just um, no, just as long as you tell me that they just say card, yeah. please. And um, I'm going to ask you, Sonia, to tell me their first and last name, just because there are a few people that have the same first name. 
So I want to know who we are talking about so I can um, connect to that energy. And Leslie, I was actually, it was like you read my mind um, when Sonia was talking about manifestation. We played the mega millions here in the US, like 48 of the states participate and it got up to $1.28 billion. I don't know if you guys saw that going on people's um timelines where they're talking about joking about not winning basically but somebody won that entire jackpot and we played and we worked on our manifestation skills and we're talking about what you know what would you do you know you can't just say i hope i win like you have to manifest that and like what would you do i literally would scream at the top of my lungs and probably like run around like a maniac that would be the first thing i would do is it you that told me that yesterday? Is it your kid that asked you that? It, what would you do if you would win like eight millions? Or is it let somebody asked me that their kid said to their parent, that was just like yesterday. And I'm like, we should do that every day. We should pretend we win the lottery every because basically we do we are breathing our hearts beating, right. we are surrounded by beautiful in nature, and we have the choice of somewhat freedom, uh, if you make it so but I mean, we are so blessed to be here. And then you pretend that what would you do? All right, so today I would go and get the pool garage slash plan that we were talking about yesterday. And like yesterday, I actually went online and started looking at indoor pools because that's my next goal is my indoor pool. I want to go do some laps in the morning after take my coffee and do my meditation there. I don't want to wake up the kids and the garage for the hubby in the right, back. Right. And I'm like, we need a, we need an amount. I need to know, is it going to be like half a million? 300,000, like 200, like if I don't know, how can I aim for it? So now we're looking at it, putting it in the universe, but also manifesting it and just letting, and I'm feeling it. I'm like, close my eyes. I would wake up. I would walk. I would walk in the water and like, just, you have to feel it. So whether it's like paying off your parents' debts and buying their house and saying, I'm bringing you on the trip or you're helping charities or like what would you do and if you let your mind go there every day can you imagine what you will manifest in the future and how great you're gonna feel so just thought I would yeah we actually you know that's a good point that you say that um we did involve the kids we actually took them with us we taught them I mean like learning what the lottery is is not exactly like the best lesson or like yeah the, the nugget of wisdom there but like talking to them about the future and things that you want and we talked about land in Colorado and the kids were excited and they were asking for things and we were talking about what we would do and it was just really it was fun I mean they weren't very happy when we didn't win but you know there's another lesson too For sure. And it was Leslie's daughter, it was Amelia that asked her if they would win 10 million, what would they do? What was your answer, Leslie? I know. um, And hi, Tammy. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Nice to see you here. We've got Sharon from um, NW Montana. I'm so clueless. What is NW? North something? Northwestern? Northwestern Montana? French Canadian here. So um and Christy said I would buy a house with some land and a pool too yeah in Canada you kind of have no choice but to have an indoor pool because outdoor pool people like I feel for them because you can only use them a certain amount of days unless it's covered and here covered glass and stuff like that it's not like Florida and like so you need something indoor a trip and a new house to start yes 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 And Leslie said, alignment into the vibration of already having it. So for people who are just coming on, uh, Brianna's going to start pulling some Oracle cards from the Animal Spirit deck. And if you would like to have a card, just type card, please. I know that Leslie said yes, please, um, already. So it's Leslie Cantwell. Um, And I just want to say, I missed this comment. Tony said she's excited. to My surprise pumpkin plan is producing green pumpkins. I saw, like, it's huge. I saw that. They're white. Right yeah. now, right? And they're going to turn green or they're going to turn orange. I don't know. I thought the white was pretty cool too. I know, me too. I was like, ooh, those are cool. I love it. 
it isn't it fun that we get excited for other people's gardens and other people's yeah. flowers and like thank you for sharing that because right. it's way more fun than seeing negative I'm sick and I that and I hate my life and like I I get it we all go through things and we could complain every day but the ones that chooses and sometimes we need to rant or vent or we need the sympathy or we need help and I get that um, but it's refreshing to to just see that people are taking care of their themselves in different ways and what your weather is like, what your greeneries look like, what type of flowers and trees you guys and wildlife and we're all around the world. So I'm very appreciative of that. Yes, we all live differently, but you know, somewhat the same. And so it's really cool to see a little bit into everybody's life and see what they're up to, you know, what they do on a daily basis. And if you've ever gardened yourself, you know that it's not necessarily, you know, an easy task. It's something you have to be committed to. And it's just so when you see people's gardens thriving, it's like, that is awesome. Like, I am happy for you. I Everyone's making salsa and pickles, canning those cucumbers. People right, realize I'm how shuffling. much work it is too. I just want to yeah. say. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it I is. You have it. to stay committed to it. And I agree. It's not always an easy task. So let's start right. with uh, Leslie Campbell Leslie. first. Yes. I'm shuffling for you, Leslie. So if you would like, if you have a specific question in mind, um, keep those thoughts going and i am going to pull a card for you you're you're not gonna believe it but maybe you are you got the same card that you got last time oh. and there's like i don't even know probably 60 50 cards in this deck and there's some that I have not even seen myself. I drew one the other day that I had never gotten before. And uh, I was shuffling and this one ended up just in my hand like this all by itself. And I looked down and I knew that it was meant for you. So it is the black bear with the guardian energy. So we see in there the mama bear and her baby and some little baby birds, gentle and wise protector. Give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. So that is awesome. You very much have the guardian energy, that mother bear, that protector, the one that is always looking after her tribe. And there are some other words to go with it. Courage confidence, strength, introspection, intuition, discernment, dreamer, solitude, hibernation, and motherhood. So I don't know what you have to say about that, but I think that is really awesome that you got the same card twice. Ooh, I need to plug my battery. Be right back. And some of the questions are like, have you lost connection with your intuition? Um, and a reminder to meditate, to tap into your intuition, to help guide you along your path. Um, and just to get that solitude, that's keep that strength that you have. All right. We have Kelly Gord that is next. All right. There's all kinds of noise going on upstairs in my house. They are doing laundry, getting ready to go get the oil changed. Of course, everything's last minute, but hey, it was a, a last minute invitation to go to Adventureland is what it's called. So we wanted to do that for the kids but getting kids ready for a road trip is a whole nother story oh yeah all right <laughs> kelly I feel, i'm shuffling 
I feel I could, I need to do a little video on that because I feel I'm all, almost a pro now because we've traveled since the baby was, and he was two months, he was in Nashville, six months, Vegas, a year in Florida. And that's us leaving Canada every time, um, two, three planes, 16, 17 hours and, and flights and then cars and um, car rentals, bring the car seat and I've overpacked and then I've done it like smart. So I really... I, I need to just get myself to do this vlog or video because uh, I've travel stress out of my mind, almost like panic attacks and everything and just like terrible mood. And it would like fuck up the whole thing. Like, you know, mom's in a bad mood. What kind of trip are we going to have? And then traveled with like being chill, being go with the flow, whatever happens, it's all good. And we got it. And uh, just uh, the universe got our back type of way. So I'm getting yeah, definitely right. getting better at it. And the kids are yeah. older now and um, they're school age. And so that does help, but we have been traveling since they were younger and it's gotten a lot better, but you know, we're still, we're now at that stage where it's like, how much longer, how much mm -hmm. longer. And like, if they have a iPhone to look at, that's connected to the internet. And my son likes to look at the map. So he's like, four more hours and 12 <laughs> minutes. And I'm like, please stop <laughs> reminding me. Uh, that's funny. Yeah. Mika's at the age that he asks everything about anything and just, <laughs> it's a very interesting age, but yeah, we, we don't travel far this last year or so. So it's just like a few hours, but still, yeah, definitely interesting. Gotta love him. All right, mm -hmm. Kelly, yeah. your card. Your spirit animal is the hawk, which carries the messenger energy. I think we saw this the last time that I pulled from these as well. It says, spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on your priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. That is a beautiful message. Some yeah. other words to go along with it is courage, clear sight, focus, premonition, higher purpose, discernment, once again, and messages from spirit. So I am interested, Kelly, to hear back from you if you have been receiving some messages from spirit. If you do, what kinds of messages are they? Do you see things in nature do you see numbers like angel numbers or is that something that you feel like you need to tap into possibly she says yes and she says I love hawks I see them all the time and it's funny you mention hawks because um I rarely met see them I see eagles and I've been seeing them a lot so Kelly you must be in my area or something you're you're mm -hmm. I know like Cause she manifests coming here and she's like, I'll be a nanny to your kids. And we've talked about traveling together. So maybe you're so powerful with the hawk that you've been showing up here. So we need to catch right? up. <laughs> and that's awesome. Yeah. Hawks are really cool. And there's something to be said, Sonia, about your incense smoke, yes. how it's in two, it's in two lines. I know it's separated like that. Um, there is a way to read smoke. Like people will actually light incense in an environment and see how it burns to get an idea of the energy that they're working with. And so right. that you should look that up and see when it splits in two like that. And it's yeah. like in a perfect way. <laughs> that is cool. Thanks for that. I didn't know. We'll definitely go and look. Mika's always asking me to, because there's always something burning or smoking or this, and he, he just, he looks at it and he's like all amazed for him. It's like almost a show or fireworks, you know, like <laughs> I love awesome. how kids and I'm like that too now. So you say that and I'm going to keep looking at the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we need to get the next person on the list. Let me see here. We've got Christy Collicut. I hope I, I pronounced her last name correct. Christy's in Canada. She is awesome. And she's very, um, very knowledge and a lot of things. And her posts are always interesting to me, whether it's, um, you know, for self-care or just nutrition. And uh, she is also um, 
same mindset as um, myself, as the Canadians that I love meeting. So I just want to appreciate her and say that. So thanks for being here, Christy. And she's yes. also French too. <laughs> Hello, French. Christy. She said close enough. <laughs> her last name. Uh, I'll get her to teach me how to pronounce it. I butcher last names sometimes. It's like when they try to announce my name in English, it's it's Arsenal, but it's Sonia. Line is my second name and then Arsenal, but they Arsino or Arsino or just, it's, it's funny. Yeah, you know, after a certain uh, point in your life, you're just like, eh, I know that you're referring to me, so. Yep, exactly. <laughs> All right, Christy, your card some seriously powerful energy here with the dragon love that uh the dragon's actually my chinese zodiac sign so i've always connected with the dragon i love dragons the message that the dragon has for you carries supernatural energy and the message is you are the ancient wise sage you can shape shift at will Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity. And I'm going to read this little paragraph here for you. If the dragon is your totem or your spirit animal, you are marked for power. Use it well. A purposeful life is your great treasure. Your wings are your breath, your body, the earth, the water, your blood, and the fire is your eternal spirit. Let your life rise from the ordinary to become the extraordinary. Wow. That is yeah. Beautiful. I like that. I hope it resonates with you, Christy. That's awesome. Shape shifting is very interesting. I know I've been hearing about that um, lately and I'm like, cool. There's lots of things we're learning and so much, so much. I love Being it. a human is a lot of shape shifting. Um, but actually, you know, like if you think about it in that sense of like you're you go and you achieve different mindsets and mind frames when you are, let's say, at work versus when you're at home, or if you're a performer or something of that nature, you're shape shifting to <clears throat> fit where you need to be at that point in time. And so being able to actually mold and be resilient and be able yeah. to move around and like grab a hold of that energy that you need for whatever you're doing you know that's a very powerful um ability i love it she says love it Woo! literally <laughs> me to t i'm always studying new things and adapting to any given environment yes i could there you go see. adaptive perfect love word that i love it um, just wanted to read some comments here. Uh, Kelly said after, I think so, I'm drawn to natural remedies, shaman maybe. Um, and yeah. then Tony had said, um, oh, you want to say something? I was just saying, yeah. <laughs> Tony said, I have red hawk that preys on our bird feeders. Yeah, they prey on little ducks here too, the eagles and the ox and it's crazy. Um, Leslie said, my married name is Sriracha, oh, I, I can say that. Um, yeah, that's a hard one. All right, so after Christy, we have got Tracy Ellen. Hey, Tracy. All right. You think about what you want an answer to or just general things in your life. You know how this works. But I like to have a card, you know, like I'm never one that an or asks a yes or no question really because I know that it's not that simple. But if you're thinking about like an area in your life, like career or relationships friendships family and then it can kind of guide you a little bit more specifically what does tracy need to hear today
The heron. Is that how you say that? Uh, ero. Uh, <laughs> I don't know oh, how to what? say it. <laughs> ero. It sounds like you're saying like a hole. <laughs> no, the, the H is silent. So a hole, a hole. A French person would probably be like, she's butchering your, that. Uh, your language is much more beautiful than ours. So I'm like, a hole. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> um, but the energy is patience. And Tracy lives right by she lives right on the water, like right across the street. She gets to see beautiful sunsets every single night. And she Love is it. nice enough to share the beautiful scenery with me and send me pictures. And so the bird, definitely, I don't know if she has that type of bird there, but I'm sure she'll let us know. The energy is patience. Create a place in nature's stillness to be renewed. Take time alone to find balance step confidently towards your purpose patience will bring you rewards i think that that is pretty fitting for what is going on in her life right now um i talk to tracy a lot so i'm sure she'll share what she wants to share in regards to that because we have <clears throat> herons 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 that's what I am. Tony's laughing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, what can I say? <laughs> but patience is always, you know, patience is one of those things. And we were actually talking about that last night. I was talking to her about how my kids were just going crazy oh. and, you know, trying to get them to clean and to listen. And you have one yeah. that will listen and one that won't. And so it's this split energy and oh. it can go crazy. And she was talking about patience and saying, you know, I don't know how you moms do it. She doesn't have any children. And so she's like, I don't know how you guys do it. And the only thing that I had to say was patience. It's like, you have to... Right you have to develop it if you don't have to, if you don't have it you learn to find it you will dig down as far as you can to find it and patience yep. is you know it is a it's a learned skill where you just want to know the answer to everything that's our human nature that's our ego that wants to know when where why how and when you're dealing with spirituality, you got to learn to trust in that energy that, like you said, the universe will give us what we need and we will be where we need to be at all times. I agree. Um, and I want to say when you pull cards, others that are listening, if the message resonates with you, it could be that you need to hear that too. Cause I needed to hear about yeah. patience. Cause I've been a a mom that's been like, man, like in both me and my husband this week. And it's just yesterday, the, the baby napped and we went in the river. And as soon as we got to sit down in those chairs, there's two or three little kids from across the road that just came here and started knocking on the door right next to where he's sleeping. The dog's barking. And I'm like, no, because I was like on meetings for hours. And then I just finally had my break and I'm like, we're going to relax. And, and then like it, I was like, nope, you, you need patience. I started breathing and then like, yeah, um, extra diff, like really in communication too. So I'm glad that card was pulled. So thank you, Tracy. And thank you, Rihanna, for that. Yes, it's patient. Crazy with kids. It has. And, you know, you learn then too, once you take that breath and step back, like, right. I'm not going to sit here and think about those noisy kids because I'm, they're not going to go away. If no, I do just come, you'll just hear them more. Like that's the right. thing. Yeah. And I'm trying to teach, train my dog too. And like behaviors you don't want, if you give it attention, they'll just do more. So just ignore it and try to sway them. And that's how I do it with the kids. And like, just, I put a picture of my son in pajamas today. He must've worn that Ninja Turtle pajama, like half of the summer. I'm not kidding. Like we wash it every like two, three days. And then as soon as he, and he just wants to live in pajamas, whether he takes a bath in the morning and afternoon and he's comfortable and we have ticks and bugs in this. So if he's not too warm and he wants to have the long, it's, it's summer, you know, pajamas, but you have to choose your battles. We're here most days. If we go out in public, we'll change him. But 
I just, right. and at the beginning, I was not arguing, but like, come on, Mika, let's get dressed. We have all these nice clothes we bought and this, and like, you're not wearing it. I'm like, just, just pick your battle. Like, why do you care? If he's comfortable like that, let him be. So that's the type of mom that I am with the kids for certain things, certain other things. I'm like, I've got my foot down, but patience is really um, a card. And I want to say patience, uh, Tracy replied, patience is not something that comes easily to me. So it's an important card for me to receive. Read through the chaos and linger the joy in the joy that Tony said, which I believe uh, she's the next one, Tony Jones for the Tony. Card. I like that though. Yes. Linger in the joy. And I, I stopped fighting the pajama battle too, Sonia, if that makes you feel any better. Yep. Um, my kids are the same way. And, you know, if they're comfortable, that's not hurting anything, you know, and they change if we go out in public, like you said, and if it's not too hot, like Everly had a one piece, um, fleece zip up long sleeve long pants and a hood and it's a hundred degrees outside and then you right. have to try to explain to them like you're going to be very hot and uncomfortable it's not just me yeah I'm not <laughs> trying just... to be rude yeah. and ruin your life <clears throat> right all right Tony Jones I can see your beautiful face in my mind I love to see all your pictures Oh, this is awesome. You got the dolphin, Ooh. which has playful energy. I love it. And the message is swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence and exhale fear. Dive into your wisdom and go with the flow. That's a perfect card for you. Um, Tony has a pool and she's always putting videos and pictures where she yes. gets to relax and take care of herself in the pool. And it's kind of like what she just said to us, um, but in a different, different words, inhale confidence and exhale fear. So um, let go of what you don't need and hang on to the goodness, the joy, the confidence, the happiness, everything that life has to offer um, and let the rest of it go. I love that. And Tony says she loves that too. And Leslie says, perfect card. I agree. And before Leslie said, I know things, LOL. I don't know what, what she was referring to, but LOL. <laughs> we sometimes the comments have like a delay. So yeah. Oh, that was perfect. It was. Do you want a card? Is there anyone else in line? Do you want a card? Uh, sure. Do a card for me, please. All the right. Fleece. Oh, she was saying the fleece. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. It's oh. Way too hot for all that business. If anyone wants to, last call to be have a card pulled. Um, let us know in the comments, please. Type card, please, and then Brianna will do that. I appreciate you guys spending time with us today. It is fun. I, I told Leslie yesterday, I'm like, I feel like we need like a little hangout Zoom and just to maybe meditate or let some thoughts out or just, you know, clear check. And when you said read the cards, I was like, that's perfect. Like, I think this is exactly what we needed. And there it goes. I heard a cat <laughs> fight. Whoa. A lot of geese, right? Are those geese? There are geese. Babies the size of the parents so they're learning to quack as the parents and it's funny because they're it's not good like it doesn't sound they're not ready yet like their voice sounds like a little teenage boy that's like yeah, yeah their pitch is like ah, yeah that's but they're hilarious. here every day like 50 or 60 of them and then uh, we've seen them since they were a little puffy and then they're gonna fly away and go see some of you guys in the, in the warmer places for sure all right, yours came out, flipped over onto my hand, and Ooh. I just turned it over. You got the polar bear. Oh, polar bear. Polar bear. Am I going to the polar, to North Pole? 
<laughs> mystic energy. Your message, Sonia, is know that challenges make you stronger. Have faith when you face adversity. Take time to rest, dream, and renew your strength. Embrace your psychic abilities. You carry the shaman within. And Kelly had just mentioned shaman, right? Um, I think that, I mean, I feel like you know all of that, but like you have such strength that you may need to keep that on the forefront of your mind more often than other people to keep that strength renewed and to not have it run out or run you tired because yes. um, we all know that wearing many hats, as they say, can pull you in a lot of different directions. And then you feel like you're just spinning and you're like, okay, that. so yeah, what, what now? Um, so psychic abilities, tap into psychic abilities, you know, like as you're meditating, which I know that you do. I just um, started again, doing it every day, three or four days ago. I had stopped for a bit. You could, um, I don't know if you've done it before where you have like a question or an intent for your meditation, okay. um, to ask your spirit guides to show themselves to you. Um, some people know what their spirit guides look like, what their names are, and they consult with them regularly. Right. Um, that's something that I'm learning to even tap into. I know the potential is there. Yes. but you have to be consistent. You have to really hold that faith and that belief in the universe in which I know you have and to be able to create that stillness and not be able, you have to be able to discern, um, and actually know that those messages are what they are because our ego likes to trick us and tell us like, I am at the point now where I'll ask a question in my uh -huh. mind to get some guidance and I get two and two answers right back, back to back. So it's like, yes. And then no. And I'm like, okay, so which one is my ego trying to true, trying to trick me. And so is it that first I'm, you know, I would imagine it's the first answer. And then my ego is like, nope. <laughs> and tries I, to come yeah. in. And so my liver brain goes like that too. So I feel yes. that. Yes. 100%. I love it. Leslie if, says, don't question yourself. True. Um, if polar bear has just come into your life, know that your spirit helper has arrived. Call upon the polar bear to create more adaptability, endurance, and fearlessness. So like in these that. meditations too, you can call upon polar bear energy, you know, and picture a polar bear, see where that takes you, you know, like the thing about it, I think it's fun because nothing will ever hurt you in that sense. If you're calling upon different kinds of energy and just playing with what your abilities are, you know, I don't feel like anything can go wrong in that sense with a good intention anyways. I agree. And I love that. It's funny because yesterday or this morning, a polar bear came up on my son's show and he asked me what it was. Very and nice. I might have seen what, how many times you see a polar bear on TV. So it's kind of cool that you pull that out. Well, I, I not even like a coincidence. It's like, of course you pull that card out. And I've just seen that in the last. So that was the polar bear getting your attention one time. And yep. then you didn't receive the message quite as intended or you were unsure. So then right. it presented itself again. I love that. I will meditate to the polar bear. Thank you. There you go. Let's see more comments here. Um, Kelly said, this is great. Keeps me so grounded. Just sitting here listening. Ellen said, uh, Tracy Ellen said, I do love the card pulls. Um, Tony said, I'm working on consist myself. And then Kelly said, Sonia line, that card was perfect for you. Um, you both need to do one of these meetings on spirit guides. Yes. I think that would be awesome. Um, as we're tapping more into that and then one more person to read the cards. And then I know I have to go, um, cause yep. I have, uh, we have a, a webinar and it's Jenna today. So I definitely want to not miss any announcements. Um, we have Sharon Casey. I believe I've seen her say card pull, please. Yes. Sharon Casey. Sharon Casey. Hello, Sharon. 
Thanks for hanging out with us. Let's see what animal wants to say hello to you and what they have to say. And then I'll share with you guys quickly the card that I pulled. Yeah, your card just flew over to the side. So let's see who that was. I pulled one before we started and I really enjoyed its message. All right, Sharon, your card is the dog, which has the friend energy. Look at all those dogs and there's even a, a wolf back there. Love all it. right. Today, I will love without condition. My energy and enthusiasm are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I am a protector and I am a friend. Aww. Love how happy dogs are all the time. It says, if the dog is your totem, you are a protector, friend, and a playmate. When you don't like someone, you are very vocal about it. You easily forgive the shortcomings of your human family. You are brave in the face of danger. Dog people have a very kind and loyal nature that can be taken advantage of. Watch out for this and remember to love and protect yourself as well. With dog as a totem, you may be drawn to a life of service that will be devoted to your friends and your worthy mission. I love that. I do see the personality as friendly for sure as a dog. When you said that and that, yeah, definitely. Thank you. And that you actually don't... fits very well, she says. I Aww, do. I love yeah. that. Lo loyal Leslie commented too. Loyalty is uh, not easy to come by these days, huh? No. Mine was the elephant, which I am trying to find the elephant. Here we go. Mine was the elephant and I had these cards sitting out while, you know, a couple of minutes before we went live and Josh was leaving the room and I said, should I pull a card for myself? Don't know why I asked it out loud. I was going to do it anyways. Um, and I did, and I got elephant, which is the energy of greatness. And the elephant's message to me is love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone that you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily su achieve success. So I was like, I don't really know what else I need to hear after that. Like that was a very humbling message, a very great reminder um, to just be who I am. And that's all I need to do. <laughs> For sure. I love these messages. They're amazing. And how many here in the comments um, uses cards all the time? Do you do them daily? Do you do them weekly, monthly? I wanted to show I have these. These are success. This is like my first uh, sets of card that I've got, but they're they're um, they're not tarot or this. They're inspiring cards. And this is French to motivate you daily. So it's success cards. And there's like a just it just says success and then here there's a saying and sometimes there's a nice little um but i pulled one yesterday and uh i wanted to just show that sometimes you don't need to have a specific uh um like i have a bunch of them i have oracles and i have what are the other one tarot i don't really know and understand sometimes i just open a book or i google how to use them and i will eventually learn all of that but for those like me that has no idea and you just want to like and I think you can with like those cards too. just pull one out. Like as you ask one question, I know some you have spreads and need to do two, mm -hmm. three things, but I'm like, it's kind of funny. Cause I had this for years and I used to do it without even realizing. And it was just like, okay, what am I pulling today? And now like we get to do this together and it's the signs. It means so much. So now I believe in the message. It's not just a coincidence for sure. That's awesome. I have had oracle cards since I was a teenager. There was a store in the mall that sold all the good stuff, um, crystals and incense and cards and books. And I, that was like the only place I wanted to go in the mall. And I got myself a set of oracle cards that just had some affirmations on there. That was a good message, just reminders, daily reminders. And so I had no way, like no specific way of doing it. It was just like, what card do I get today? Right. Um, and just reminding you that, 
you're human, you're having a spiritual experience and different ways that you can affirm to yourself that everything's okay and to trust in the universe. And that's what these messages are intended for. Um, some people get weird about cards um, because I of to be. people to that be they've great. seen use them in the past. You know, yeah. you people use them differently. Yeah. Um, and sometimes it can kind of seem, you know, if the energy is off, it's the person who's holding the cards. It's not the cards. Exactly. So I guess that's really like what I want to say about that. And um, fearful thoughts attract fear. You know, yeah. they just multiply that fear. And so if it's something you're not comfortable with, it's something you're not comfortable with, you know? Yeah. Um, like I don't, as a younger kid, I would use the Ouija board. And it was because I didn't know what I was doing. You know what a Ouija board is? Yep. Yep. We played um, with that when I was younger too. We had no idea really what we're doing. Right? Um, yeah. It's pretty Those insane. Things. It's made and sold by a kid's like game company, like Parker Brothers or something yeah. like that. Um, but that's something that I am uncomfortable with. I know that like knowing what I know, I know I can't be hurt by it but it's just not something that I want to mess with. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you pick and choose the things that resonate with you and things that are going to um, keep nudging you in the right direction. I agree. And Brianna, before we, oh, before we close out today, um, I wanted to talk about, I know that Kelly mentioned something about doing um, one with the spirit guides. And I do agree, we should definitely do one. And also we talked about doing a seven week chakra um, work. So that's something that we're going to do in the future. How would you like to focus on a specific chakra every week? And we do like little um, exercise or whatever they suggest that we do. And because uh, I'm learning about that, I'm learning about the food we eat, and the color we wear and stuff like that. But there's other things. So if that would interest you, I wanted to let you know, we will do that. And if you have any other suggestions you would like to hear from us, please type them. Also wanted yeah. to say thank you, Brianna, for doing this for all of us today. It was amazing. Thank you for everyone that is there watching live or replay. If you're watching in the replay, please say hello. Um, don't be shy. And then uh, any last closing words uh, before we close this call, uh, Brianna? No, I just wanted to say that you're welcome. And I am always happy to help. I'm happy to be here always. And spend this time with all of you and I will go back and read some of the comments and we will be here next week. And if we want to start the chakra talk, we will start with the root. So you start at your foundation, start at the bottom and then work your way up. I love it. All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone. Have a great, fabulous weekend. Be safe. Happy, healthy, wealthy is the way to be. This is Sonia and Brianna with the High Frequency Thursday, and we will see you next week. Thanks for hanging. Bye. Bye, everyone.